My friend, my friend, the Wabash Cannonball. Now, I remember listening to this one in the Grand Old Opry when I was a kid in Nashville when I was a boy. Tell you what, if you like the way I teach, you enjoyed the channel, please thumbs up, subscribe, put something classy down in the comment section. And let's play this song, the Wabash Cannonball, in the key of G. However, we're going to modulate to the key of D. Watch me now. G major has a one chord, a two chord, a three chord, a four chord. Any of these look familiar? A five chord, six chord, and then a seven chord, or you could play it as such. G major, A minor, B minor, C major, D major, E minor, and then F sharp diminished, or D7, same chord, F sharp diminished, and then it goes right back at the G. Now, if we were to do that in D, which we'll explain in a minute, the only chords we're going to need for the song are going to be the one, which is the G. We're going to go G, A, B, C, the C chord, which is the major fourth, and then it's going to play the D, but it's going to play it as a 5-7 chord, which means we're going to get rid of that D note and replace one of the D notes in a D, F, sharp, A, because there's four strings, three notes for a triad. We're going to just replace that there, and we're going to go and put a C in there, which means our dominant note is going to be in there. Yes! Our minor seventh. So when we play a F sharp minor, quite literally is a D major seven. When we remove it, it's a D seven, D dominant seven, which is also charismatically T right back to the G. So for this song, we're going to get a shuffle going on. The one, you know, check out Johnny Cash, check out Willie Nelson, check out anybody who is a, uh, I guess, like old folk rock and roll tune kind of honcho. And I'm sure you'll come up with somebody who does this song. Um, maybe we can start here. I'm doing a little bounce here. So I'm doing four, four. So I've still got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. To break it down, a little pop on the one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Whenever I see an eighth note in the notation, I generally go down and up. And whenever I see a quarter note, I just go down. So we're going to start with an eighth note pickup from the great Atlantic Ocean to the wide Pacific C major. Sure. D7, high and verdant mountains, to the past southlands by the G. We're going to hold this G for four more measures. Mighty handsome, and she knows quite well. C, oh. D7, regular combination, on the water, G cannonball. We're gonna go all the way back up to the top. Eighth note, now listen to the jingle, to the rumble, C major, and the roar. D7, dash through the woodlands and the speeding shore. We're gonna follow this G major all the way to the C again, then to the D7. The bell's clear call as you travel across the country. On the Wabash Cannonball. What would be very cool, because we're playing in the key of G, go through that process, play the rhythm one more time for an instrumental. Da, 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 ba, ya, da. To the four chord, to the five seven, to the five seven, to the one. Keep going. Then we can move up. Now, rather than just playing your G major like a G major, we can even follow that further and go up a whole step to A major, or we could just modulate to D. So here's where it gets fun. The chord that helps modulate the best to D would be a C sharp diminished. So a C sharp diminished, if we were to play something along the lines of this, and then go right to this, we would find ourselves in the key of D. So watch what happens in that transition. <laughs> On the Wabash Cannonball. D. Now we can do D major, 1, 4, and 5. If we're in the key of D, D, E, F sharp, 1, 2, 3. So 4 must be our G major. And then our 5 is going to be our A. So when we do that transition, whoop, 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 back it up. Uh, da, 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 travel across the country on the Wabash Cannonball. From the great Atlantic 
ocean to the wide Pacific shore. I've been in mountains, parts of Southlands, and the shore. See how it's the same progression, but now we're in the key of D? Gee golly whiz. You could do this all the way up if you wanted to. D could even go up in half steps. D, D sharp, E. So now functioning in the key of E, E major. Well, what's the four of E? E, F sharp, G, A. And then B. So you could have E major. It can go on forever and ever. Just a little pizzazz. Now, this is just the way that I do things when I'm trying to perform songs. After I learn them by going super slow, then we put pizzazz behind it. Hope you had a good time today. Aloha.